Check out this breaking news that took all fans by surprise. Could the Cardinals have signed Max Scherzer? Revisiting comments and missed opportunities. Max Scherzer is undoubtedly one of the most decorated MLB pitchers ever to hail from the St. Louis region. A World Series title, two no-hitters, three Cy Young awards and eight All-Star nods are among his accomplishments. At 39 years old, the Chesterfield native is currently with the Texas Rangers and amping up his recovery from injury in hopes to pitch in the postseason and earn a second World Series title. Scherzer has one year remaining on his current contract, and his future beyond that is a bit uncertain, but his career in large has proved astounding. Some baseball enthusiasts even recognize Scherzer among the top 100 baseball players of all time. If you don't want to miss the latest news, subscribe to this channel now because we are always attention to the latest news from St. Louis Cardinal. What if Max Scherzer could have played for his hometown St. Louis Cardinals? It hasn't happened over his 16-year career, and the Cardinals have twice passed on Scherzer in free agency, 2014 and 2021. New comments offer renewed perspective into perhaps what might have transpired during Scherzer's first go-around of free agency. On Tuesday, just two days after the Cardinals ended the 2023 season last in the NL Central and oftentimes sparse of quality pitching, Randy Carriker of 101 ESPN's The Opening Drive claimed that the Scherzer had reached out to Adam Wainwright during the 2014 offseason. If you like this news, like this video now so that this news can reach other fans. Scherzer ultimately ended up with a seven-year, $210 million deal from the Washington Nationals. According to Karaker's comments on the opening drive, Scherzer reportedly told Wainwright he would be interested to know if the Cardinals would counter with a deal in the ballpark of his Washington offer. Karaker adds that Wainwright reached out to someone within the organization, but a deal never materialized. In fact, Karaker's account and other reports from over the years seem to suggest the Cardinals weren't aggressive in the first opportunity to unite with Scherzer for the long haul.